Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Spider-Man Legends series Ultimate Spider-Mans, Miles Morales and Peter Parker. Now, these two figures are part of a series that have gotten kind of bunched up in all the excitement of two other series, the X-Men Legends Juggernaut Wave and the Captain America Abomination Wave. All these figures are hitting us all at the same time. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> I'm, I'm going crazy waiting for the X-Men Wave. And now that we've seen Captain Britain in the Captain America Wave, I, I'm really excited about that. So I've kind of lost excitement for this Spider-Man Wave, but now that I have these figures, I'm ping-ponging all over the place. I So many figures I need. Now, we already know these are smaller figures, but in the package, they look pretty good. Uh, with the Venom arms and the extra hands, uh, these kind of fell out. They're down in the bottom. I already checked that. The extra heads, they both look good in the package. On the back, you get kind of an action shot of both of the figures, and you get the whole wave. I love these half shots that they do for the rest of the lineup. And then, of course, the Build-A-Figure is Space Venom, Guardians of the Galaxy Venom, or they just call him Venom. And I haven't read a lot of new comic books, so I'm not up to date on Venom. He looks cool. I'll end up getting the rest of the series. In the package, though, you can already see that Spider-Man has the red pegs. I understand that they can't split the colors there. The outside needs to be red. The inside needs to be blue. But a little paint would probably go a long way there. So I'm going to get these open and uh, see what's going on here. And there you go, out of the package. And after messing around with these for a little bit, I really like them. Hasbro did a couple of things that are kind of an upgrade from the Pizza Spotty, but at the same time, they kind of went backwards with it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But the paint job on these, for the most part, it's nice and clean, which is kind of hard to do sometimes with uh, the web lines. Just Spider-Man's costume is busy. My initial reaction is I like the Miles figure a little bit better. I love Spider-Man. I love most of the figures of him. That's why I got these two right off the bat. But... I've got a lot of Spider-Mans. Miles, I don't. I, I think there's been a figure of him before. I don't have it. But this one, this one will do me for the time being. I like the design. Yes, it's mostly black. But I like the red, how it just contrasts against the black. It's minimal. It works for me. And this whole new body that they've come up with for the teen bodies, I feel like it's a little bit short, but at the same time, it completely works. These are teenage Spideys. Now, being that these are both on the same body, I only have to go through one for articulation. Articulation, there's a ball on top of a hinge in the neck, so you get back. He looks up really well, and you can get a little bit more out of that if you kind of pop the head and just kind of rest it on there, and he can get as far back as you want. Yes, it's not perfect, but it works. He can bury his chin in his chest. Uh, you have swivel. Not a lot of side to side, and... That's kind of a bummer. Hinge and swivel at the shoulders. It comes up and then it swivels around. They lost the butterfly joint. Not a huge loss, but at the same time, I kind of like that extra articulation in a Spider-Man figure. Swivel at the bicep. Double hinge at the elbow. Comes all the way up. Hinge and swivel at the wrist. And then it hinges. Hinge at the torso. And this has some monster detents in it. It clicks down as you go. He can crunch about that far. He can crunch back about there and still kind of look forward. Swivel at the waist. The hips, I feel like the range of motion here is a little bit better than Pizza Spotty. You can come out about that far. Forward. Back. Now, something to point out here. This is on a ball. So, if you get crazy with the articulation and you come back, you get kind of a gap there. But that turns on the ball and you can close that gap. Also, with that ball joint, you can bring the leg up to here. But you can get a little bit more range if you swing it around up to here and then turn it at the thigh swivel so you can get up to there. Swivel at the thigh, double knees, they come all the way up, and he has a boot swivel. On the figures I got, these are a little bit loose. Hinge at the ankle, comes back, and here's my other point that I do not like at all, and forward that much. I wish there was more range there because you try to get him down in a crouch, he can't put his feet down flat. And then forward facing peg for some rocker. Like I said, both of these figures share the same body. They also share all of these same accessories. They both come with fists. You guys know me. I love the fists. I like fighting poses. They both come with thwip hands. Uh, we're used to these. Most of the spideys that we do get, get these hands. It's his trademark look. And then they both come with the splayed out hands for wall crawling on the ground poses, uh, stop in the name of love poses, just whatever you want to use them for. I love these hands. The regular Spider-Man, he comes with the ultimate Peter Parker head. I feel like this head matches the artwork perfectly. I know what happened to bring Miles into the picture, 
but I haven't read a lot with him in it. But going by the pictures I found on the internet, his alternate head, it also looks pretty much like the artwork. Uh, both of these heads are great sculpts. Both are painted really well. I just really like both of these heads. And to switch everything out, I found that the wrists are really hard to pull out. Pretty long peg on them, and then a pretty big mushroom to them. And as I've messed with them, they've loosened up a little bit, but yeah, they're just tough to change. Then the head, it just pops right off. It's a fairly big ball on top. Then you just pop the other head on. The head, yeah, in pictures and everything, it looks a little bit big, but again, this is a teenager. Uh, they're in that awkward stage. Their proportions are a little bit off. I. I actually like it being a little bit bigger. Now somebody had already asked on another video if I would try to put uh, one of these down into a four point stance. He doesn't have the butterfly joint in the shoulders and his feet aren't able to go forward enough to be able to, you know, be flat footed here. He ends up on his tippy toes. So it ends up looking more like he's down looking for a contact lens than it does in his iconic stance. So at the end of the day, I really like these guys. I want to like them more though. They're not perfect. Like I said, the inside of the arms, uh, the red peg is showing. I know that's a deal breaker for a lot of people and it bugs me, but I can look past it. The limited ankle forward and the loss of the butterfly shoulders, uh, that kind of kills my need to pick them up and put them in all kinds of crazy poses. After messing with them longer, I do think that I like the Miles better. And that's not really a figure choice, that's a costume choice. But saying all that, I think this Spider-Man is gonna replace my pizza Spidey on the shelf. Back in the day when I first read comics, Spider-Man was a teenager, he was that odd man out. Just that wisecracking kind of in over his head Spider-Man. And then of course I like the Ultimate Spider-Man series too, which was more of that kind of taking it back to his roots, but in the modern age. So both of these Spider-Mans, great additions to the shelf. They'll go up beside my, you know, 2099 and all the other Spider-Mans that we have at this point. But if you're a Spider-Man fan, go ahead and grab these. Of course grab the whole series because all the figures in it, at least I think they're cool. Like I always say, I'm a fan of figures. I like good looking figures. In fact, good action figures will prompt me to go find out more about the character themselves. So yes, a lot of times I like the property, so I'll buy the figures. But if I see figures that are even related to a property I like, it'll make me go back and try to find out more about them. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the foosh. The sculpt is all there. Again, no spoilers. I don't know if this is accurate but it looks good. It looks like a natural progression of the Ant-Man costume, like Scott's been tinkering with it, uh, try to bring it more into a modern age. Not that I didn't like the first costume, I like that classic, you know, retro kind of look. Scott working on it, not a problem. Him growing, I apparently, not a problem for me.